Alrighty, uh, welcome, people. Watching in the future. Uh, we're gonna get back to some more Hogwarts. <laughs> um, I, I actually just found out, okay. So, like, I've got one of those uh, chat keypads on there, because I, I like the weight that they add to the controllers. Um, but I found out that apparently this controller, um, <laughs> it makes it register as if I have like a keyboard plugged in. So I can very <laughs> basically uh, control it with just the, uh, the keypad on here. But it, it's like wonky as hell. Like I can, I can jump, I can laugh, I can play and sing. Um, <laughs> I can actually like access like almost like all of the stuff, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so I'm not gonna play that way, obviously. Uh, I, I would want an actual mouse and keyboard. If you're here for my wares, if I wanted to do I'm that, I'm afraid I still don't have my cards. Oh, I forgot you can actually like you can actually swim in this game too. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna keep going, uh, moving towards the story stuff. Some extra stuff along the way, maybe, but ma mainly story stuff. They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid fight! Your life ends here. Stupid fight! I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Are you like some sort of fable character? Uh, I question you feel uh, no, 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 no. Okay, whatever. You've nowhere to hide, you can't I'm not going anywhere. Go on. You'll take this student on my dead body. Take it. That's just pivs. Expose them, Joe. Do that. Is that the best you got? Better luck next time. Did you? Okay. <laughs> Apparently, I I need to remember my combat again. Parries, always parry. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Get over here, you ain't tight! Hold them up! I'm not going anywhere with you. Still, you'll break this! You did all the fire game, buddy! Ah! 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 Just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner, and so close to Hogwarts. Well, you see, these are dangerous times we're living in. <sighs> are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to... Time for me to be overly polite excellent. to another person again. Defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. Death but Eaters and thank Ashwinders. thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best finders? Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian.
historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. How extraordinary. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the Mallow trials sweet. to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk... Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Experiamus! Uh I mean they're called pyres. Could it be? Revelio. I need to light them on fire. Incendio. Merlin's beard. The flames make the pyre sink. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. <clears throat> More stuff for me to set ablaze. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Avelio. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. Another task. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Did I get anything for it? Hmm. 
Okay. Greetings. I understand you're quite the end. <clears throat> All of Anders heirloom. Meeting young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Let's go. Oh yeah, I hope everybody's doing good out there. I should have uh... That's a kid what? Oh. That looks important too. Uh, at work, we've been um, waiting for them to finally like decide that that maybe we uh, are worth more money. Um, and today, at the end of the day, our boss was like, "Hey, so can you think of like things that help describe our position? And uh, perhaps maybe you can think of a, a new title for us." And, we're like uh, the department that doesn't get respected, or the department that does everything but isn't, uh, <laughs> but gets ignored. <laughs> um, so yeah, all sorts of stuff like that. Oh no, it's a fire on it. Incendio. Does have fire. Yeah, it seems like third. Oh, it does man. Um, anyway. One of us said, uh, does this new position come with more money? <laughs> and she was like, well, I can't say, uh, but that's the plan. I'm like, please just pay us more. Rebellion. Don't don't just like lead us around by the dick. Just like actually, actually pay us more, please. I I think I would love to be in a situation where I don't have to move next year. That would be amazing. No guarantees, of course. But... I'll take what I can. Is that all I get from this? Just a pair of gloves?
But we'll see. We'll see what actually happens. I suppose I should sell some of this stuff. But I'm not necessarily concerned. If I'm at a place where I can sell stuff, uh, I'll do it. But otherwise, I might just like destroy it. Because your inventory fills up so fast. Hello! There's also something to do with this, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, you tell him. <laughs> Don't listen to his weird demands. Oh. That circle does not appreciate the cube. Got it. Alright, how's things? My hands are greatly desiring a uh, a double jump or some sort of like mid-air dash. It thinks that I'm still playing uh, <laughs> still playing Jedi Survivor. PS2 uh, playing CDs, yeah, it's really good. I mean, heck, even with um, even with the original PS1, it was it was a cool trick. For a console to be able to do. What do we have here? Rebellion. Oh, that was a cool case. I still actually kind of wish that um, all CDs kind or all all CD based consoles still kind of did the same thing, because um, it's actually not the case. Like um, I think the Xbox is one of the few uh, systems that actually still plays like music CDs. Who most remembers when your parents went nuts over you seemingly being in front of a screen all day even though you take breaks when they're not there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, nowadays, it's parents yelling at kids to stop playing video games while they're stuck on their phones. It's like, oh, it's different. Like, no, mother. I love old people who still think we're living in. <laughs> uh, the sad truth of the matter is that like, technically I am starting to become old people. <laughs> uh, my time will my time will come. Um. <laughs> Uh, I don't like my mom. You know how much how it feels to experience playing video games and such. I, I mean, I do. I have spent the greater portion of my life doing so. <laughs> It's it's always kind of funny, like, because even for me, like, there's people that are, like, my age that, like, I grew up around and, like, they don't, they don't really know anything about video games. Wait, why can I not? Oh, I guess I'm just in the water now. Okay, 
Thank you. Cross Wand was so much fun, wasn't it? There we go. Much better. I don't need to swim the entire way there. But yeah, people my age don't know anything about video games. Don't play them. Sometimes when I uh, when I rest, I just lie down on the bed for long periods of time thinking about my life. <laughs> uh, sometimes I even just admire my model Lego collection. That's how I pass the time, taking breaks from screens. <laughs> I would say that, like, I read when I'm not playing video games. However... I'm using a screen to read, so not much better. It's like when I'm writing, I'm still using a screen. When I'm reading, I'm still using a screen. <laughs> when I'm doing video editing, I'm still using a screen. Uh, oh well, you can't escape it sometimes. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. I do enjoy building Lego and doing like puzzles and stuff in my in my downtime. Um, sometimes some of my streams are actually just like doing stuff like that. I have a lot of fun doing it. Even I need to get away from screens sometimes. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, most about a century ago, street? an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went wow, missing from this alley. very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map <laughs> he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Yeah, I'll see what I can find. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Oh, you brought hope to More this fish old quests. one maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Investigate the Owlry. You there, child. Do my work for me. Went to the Harry Potter area in Universal Orlando when, I, when it was only weeks old. I'll admit, it could be kind of fun. Just like going to the Star Wars the area. I wouldn't mind doing those. Now they got like the the Mario Land. Ah. Hogwarts Express. I mean, that would be kind of cool. I mean, it's a it's a huge steam engine, yeah. Those things are like legitimately impressive. These rocks have seen better days. You never ate at the restaurants? Mm. My assumption would be that it'd be incredibly expensive. Ah. 
Uh, you know what? Keep our food is worth the price. Mm. I will admit I have missed out on a lot of stuff like that. Okay, uh, Hogwarts map. Wait, where am I going? Maybe I have, uh... Yeah, I'll go here. Yeah, Price went to Disney World uh, that same time nine years ago. Well, before the prices went up. <laughs> uh, this is going to make me uh, sound incredibly ancient, but the last time that I went mind. to uh, Disneyland... Uh, and I'm talking like Disneyland California, is in 1987. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I was five. I would very much want to go back, though. Nineteen eighty-seven. <laughs> yes, eighty-seven. Uh, California Adventure didn't even exist, and the 1950s Disneyland Hotel was still there. Yep. I may have even stayed at that hotel. All I remember is that we went to Disneyland, SeaWorld, and like Knott's Berry Farm. And uh, going to Disneyland made me scared of roller coasters because of uh, because of Space Mountain. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. You think that there might be like a uh, blue powder spot around here somewhere? I mean, I couldn't tell you why they why they demolished it or anything like that. All I know is that um, they have a hotel. <laughs> I don't follow the Disney lore. Is it really? Don't mind me, Owls. I'm here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Mm, nothing. Did I open it <laughs> in 01 it was terrible empty perches could be the right size for jackdaws or oh, statues of jackdaws no statues here oh, this will do nicely oh, I'd best keep looking I feel like that might not be the case these days. It's, it's like, there's so many people that are just like, um, 
obsessed with Disney culture that they would go to anything that Disney released just to say, I was there. It's like people that want to live in... Birds aren't um, afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Uh, they want to live in like the Disney uh, community. community. Fully inundated with the uh, the Disney lifestyle. <laughs> I mean, it is. <laughs> it is absolutely what Nintendo fans do. <laughs> take that thank you i i wonder I, I really do wonder it's like you've got you've got nintendo fans and you've got disney fans and i feel like they they have a, a few similarities amongst them and you kind of wonder which one is the more rabid hmm. i'd best keep looking nothing No statues here. But I mean, I'm I'm a N Nintendo fan myself. Oh, nope, don't don't burn the bird. Here's a welcome surprise. has a strangling hold in gaming in Japan but like Disney with animated movies back in the 50s. Yeah, that's true. Disney apparently does really well in Japan too, so um, I, I think they kind of are stuck between two terrible powers. <laughs> oh, it's a fully headless man. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? Oh, really? So, Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I mean, I'd forgotten about that wand. As I powerful you, as, like, Xbox 360. I'm almost certain I dropped well, it the moment I, I was, it was headed Xbox in that one cave. And, like, PS4 were. Oh, sheer folly to follow that map. There are some things that Ridiculous, the current consoles really. can really do quite Founded well. Found it on some yellowed old pages peeves at Pilford. Mm. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, so you have to admit, games, there are some games that no matter like what console they're on, they still look pretty freaking amazing. Like, Odd to hear it all Red Dead 2 is one of those games that like, but it, yes. it looks way better than it ever should. Why do should. you care about some old wand? I don't really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the one? Even Red Dead okay. One still looks Indeed. pretty good. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. Sure. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. I did too should it really be ported over to current gen since PS4 and Xbox One are pretty much towards the end of their lives. I agree. Also, uh, they shouldn't charge you like a full 60, 70 bucks for it either. Um, God. They they just ported like Red Dead 1 to the Switch and and PC and stuff, I think, or PS something, PS4. And it's just like a port, but they're charging people like 50 bucks for it way too much for that.
<laughs> That's absolutely true. I mean, they don't need the money. I think, I think people would have easily paid like 20 bucks for it. If it was a full remaster, then yeah, I can understand a little bit a little bit more, but it's just a re-release. Personally, like I'm all for making games available on current gen consoles if the consoles have no way of playing the old games. Um, but I think that the pricing has to be reasonable. The PS Portal? I think I saw something and I thought it was like a joke, but... Um... Oh, shit. Why is there just not like a trailer? Like I don't, I don't want to see these like hands-on videos. Ugh, whatever. Give me, give, give me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, handheld device will stream PS5 games over Wi-Fi. Eight-inch screen running in 1080 60. Video on Twitter. <laughs> no, call it Twitter. It's fine. Uh, supposedly showing the PS5 model that's coming up pretty soon. Hmm. Uh, $200 for it. Okay, but it says it's streaming. Um, it'll connect remotely over Wi-Fi, so you'll be able to swiftly jump from playing your PS5 to your PlayStation Portal. Uh, PlayStation Portal can play supported games that are installed on your PS5 console. And use the dual sense controller. Play. Will also be capable of playing media as the home screen dedicated. Won't be able to run anything locally though. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, you're out. okay. So internet is required. I remember a certain Microsoft system saying that internet would be required, and everyone hating that. Um, uh. It will not work with Sony's upcoming uh, cloud streaming for the PS5 games. Oh, that's awful. Games that must be streamed on PS5 using a PS uh, Plus Premium membership are not compatible. That's bad. So you need... Uh, Uh, PlayStation Portable doesn't have Bluetooth, so you won't be able to use uh, connected. Uh, you won't be able to connect wireless headphones, or Sony's Pulse 3D headset. Instead, it uses a PlayStation Link wireless technology. Uh, PlayStation da, 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 sign a liver low latency loss of audio. Okay, so it'll be you'll have to buy a new set of headphones for it if you want to use it. Um, rumors of a PS5 Slim. Yeah, I'll look up a picture of that one too. Ugh, no, that's bad. <laughs> Calling it a new PSP hey, this is, Bo is Moore a with terrible IGN. idea. I am here at PlayStation headquarters in San Mateo, California for a top secret demo. I cannot actually even tell you about it until we are in the room, so let's go check it out. Sony has a storied, if a bit neglected, history with handheld gaming. The PlayStation Portable launched... Don't care. I don't need to hear your preamble. The Portal is a $200 handheld device that puts PS5 games in the palm of your hand, as long as you're on Wi-Fi. Previously known as Project Q, Portal uses the PS5's remote play feature to stream games from your console. 
Importantly, the portal also offers all of the features and ergonomics of the PS5's excellent DualSense controller, including haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and its touchpad. To be clear here, Portal isn't really doing anything inherently new. Remote play has existed since the PS3 era, allowing you to stream games from your console to a handheld or smartphones, tablets, PCs, and Macs. That said, remote play has never really been an ideal experience. You're either compromising on visual quality, control setup, ergonomics, or some combination of the above. Yeah, no. You can make it work, but it's not super convenient. So the goal of PlayStation Portal is to eliminate all of those pain points and make remote play as easy as just picking it up and playing. The Portal can do something that other remote play devices can't, which is wake up your PS5 just by turning it on so it's ready to go. Its design essentially takes a standard DualSense controller, chops it in half, and then slaps those two controller grips to the side of an 8-inch 1080p LCD display. It's definitely a little weird when you're used to the more singular-looking designs of current handhelds like the Nintendo Switch and Valve Steam Deck, but it's also lighter than either of those while still giving you both a large screen and full-size controls. The DualSense grips feel exactly like a regular DualSense controller. Yeah, because this, and all this the best isn't a handheld. Trying it out with Astro's Playroom, I could feel the haptic showcase just as well as when I experienced it on a DualSense. Not and by the what I triggers simulate the pull of Aloy's bow in Horizon Forbidden West in exactly the same way. Even the DualSense's touchpad is available, though instead of the single center pad, there are two touch areas that pop up in the bottom left and right of the display where you touch it. <laughs> There's a USB-C port for charging, a 3.5mm jack for wired headphones, and a small pair of speaker grills if you don't want to use headphones. Connectivity-wise, it supports Wi-Fi and PlayStation Link. More on that in a minute. But it does not have Bluetooth. On the visual quality front, the PlayStation Portal delivers. The 8-inch 60Hz LCD display succeeds at translating PS5 quality visuals into a handheld format. Colors look bright and vibrant, though Sony hasn't given me any brightness, color gamut, or HDR specs beyond that it's just an LCD panel. The and one the thing that it has a nice the, uh, pixel density for the screen is size. just like the resolution. Now, does it look as good as playing on a 65-inch OLED TV? Of course not. But as far as handhelds go, the 8-inch screen feels expansive. The video, of course, is being streamed from your PS5 rather than run locally on the device. And the proverbial sort of Damocles yeah, hanging over all game streaming devices they're, they're is always okay with what they're doing. That is the slight delay between when you push a button and when the action on the screen responds. During my demo, I didn't experience any noticeable latency. Of course, this was a private demo under ideal conditions, so that experience could change depending on your personal Wi-Fi setup. You don't actually have to be in the same room or even on the same local network as your PS5 in order to stream your games. So long as both your home connection and the one at the location where you're playing are both strong, it will still work. Whether you're in the same room or on the other side of the world, your home PS5 is on and running your game, beaming it directly to you, as opposed to cloud gaming where the game that you're playing is being run on some remote server. Of course, this means that you need a PS5 in order to use PlayStation Portal. But it also means that not only is your account and progress and trophies all there, but actually your actual PS5 home Home screen. You can swap between games or even run any other PS5 app, just as if you were playing directly on the TV. To be clear, the portal doesn't run anything locally, not even basic apps. So if your Wi-Fi goes down, or if somebody else wants to use your PS5, it is not going to work. Yeah, that's a useless piece of trash. A Remember, of there is no Bluetooth available, so you won't be able to connect to wireless headphones that way. Not even PlayStation's own Pulse 3D headset. It does have something called PlayStation Link, which is Sony's new connectivity standard for PlayStation devices, and which is built into some of its brand new hardware. I got to test out the new Pulse Elite headset and Pulse Explorer wireless earbuds, which are currently the only announced headsets that use the new standard. But Sony did tell me that PlayStation Link will be available for third-party headset makers to use in their future products. But that'll be a ways off. It is a bit disappointing that we'll have to buy brand new headsets to use with the Portal, since that'll add to the cost. Yeah, I agree. Tell me what battery life is, is another big question mark. The Portal's battery size hasn't yet been finalized, so Sony wasn't willing to make any estimations for how long you'll be able to play untethered. Without a power-hungry processor inside, you'd think that the Portal should have significantly more longevity than something like the Switch or the Steam Deck. On the other hand, the standard DualSense is known for its fleeting lifespan between charges, and that doesn't have a screen to power. We'll be sure to test that out once we have the finalized PlayStation Portal in for review later this the year. The thing that I saw said four to five hours. And the last question I know a lot of people are wondering is, who exactly is this device for? It's $200 for a remote access window into your PS5. And at that price, honestly, I kind of get it. For the times when somebody else wants to use the TV, or maybe you have small kids. Okay, if the PS5 Slim is... Wait, why does it have the weird feet on the bottom? Uh, no, no. Okay, if it's smaller, I would appreciate it. <laughs> Maybe I won't need so much space on my on my shelf. Anyway, back to the game. Let's talk about this. So, <laughs> um, the Switch is good for a very specific reason. It's a game system that is itself the game system. If you want to play it on TV, you plug it in and you play it on the TV. If you want to play it on the go, you unplug it and take it with you. 
It does not require the internet for playing basic games. Yes, if you have, like, Nintendo Online, you do require the internet to be able to play the games and everything like that. But it's not, it's not a requirement to do everything. Um, Could it be a Merlin trial? It's a system on its own. And, like, at, on its own, it's a 400, like, $300, $400 uh, price point, basically. Um... So why would I, like, why would I need to have anything different? Like, I don't want to pay $500, $600 for the console. And then have to also pay two hundred dollars for the uh, the device. Uh, in the video of the supposed PS5 Slim, it looks to be exactly the same, but smaller. Uh, there's a line midway through the console, presumably where the detachable uh, disc drive would be. Yeah, uh, I I would honestly prefer it if they went with a uh, a more angular design rather than a rounded design. Like, give me a box. <laughs> give me a give me a triangle shaped box, <laughs> or a trapezoid shaped box, like the PS4. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, it it's a it's a half a handheld. Okay, so the fact that as long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi, you have PS5 games available to you anywhere in the world and you don't have to take your ps5 with you you can play it handheld and yes the whole idea with the switch is that oh somebody wants to use the tv i still want to play my games let me unplug my switch from the tv and continue playing exactly what i was doing oh, i'm sure it'll be harder to kill a But yeah, it, I I don't think that they should have done a handheld. And if the if the uh, battery life is terrible, then that's gonna. That's gonna really knock it down a peg. Uh, PlayStation is pretty much giving the handheld market keys to Nintendo once again. Yeah, I mean, they are. Like, even though I didn't have, like, a Vita, I know that the Vita was an incredibly popular system and in its own right was very nice looking, very well designed, and had some impressive technology behind it. It was a decent piece of kit. Um, the PSP on its own, I did own. I enjoyed it. I didn't have very many games for it, but it did fine. Um, I enjoyed what it did. I did always find myself going back to like a Game Boy or something, though, or the DS, because uh, the DS came out around the same time as the uh, as the uh, PSP did. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just like 
it seems cheap. Like, the fact that it can't do anything on its own is kind of a bummer. Um, and that's kind of, like, the, the scariest thing about it is that, like, it does require a PS5, which is already super expensive. So, I don't know, man. It just, it does seem very iffy. That's like, I have nothing against Sony. Um, I have, for the longest time, continued to own uh, all consoles. Sony typically is the last one that I pick up out of the three. But I mean, not for any other reason that like, it doesn't really have the games that I play. So. Mongrel fur, you say. Alright, I should I should continue on to the uh the mission, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I'm glad that they're trying something, but at the same time, it could be a lot better. Revenia. The fact that it is incompatible with um, a cloud streaming service that they're doing, yeah, that's a shocker. For me, okay, here, here, here's, the, here's the use case for me. If it was a $200 handheld console that allowed me to, like, I had to pay like 15 bucks to do the cloud service and just stream games that were available on it, I might be interested. It would actually allow me to as play PS5 uh, games that I just haven't been able to play yet. But it's not, so I'm, I'm not. That was, that's like the, the weakest part about it, I think. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. I think it's like. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Helpful as long as it's not a trap. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bar.
I was like, I am certainly not on the same path that I was. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Ah, giant spiders. These guys are pretty healthy. Will eventually live. Nothing to do now but keep going. Ugh. The gross sound of chittering spiders. Wait, a puffle skin male and a puffle skin female? Yeah. What are these Pokemon things? I need to know. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. The screams of Cedar Horror. It 
intramuros. It is! Cool looking though. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's led me. Ha. I have like some sort of cut on the upper part of my ear, and it makes wearing the headphones really uncomfortable <laughs> well I mean not completely uncomfortable but slightly I wonder the, how uh, big this place is headphones that I wear at work they manage to like rub right against the spot giving me like a sharp pain every time that I <laughs> like, how did I cut myself it must have been like when I cut my hair doesn't stay lit for long. I need to light all three before they time out on me. Ooh, spider corpses. Yeah, what is with these weird creatures? <laughs> New gloves, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't say. Yeah, that doesn't look weird. I said I would go with uh, everything as I unlock it. A uh, gear trait recipe reward. Goblin silver resistance. Hmm. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. like this, I would certainly imagine that's the case. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this.
I almost kind of don't like that there's so many collectibles. Because <laughs> it means that's just like that many more things that I have to make. Hey, look, it's a spider hole. Surely this is the safer option. Actually did it? <laughs> I expected to die. Oh, it says it's better. better too <laughs> all things considered actually worth it. I tend to think that that was like a person, but I really do get the feeling that it was. to be able to float straight to me. Oh. 
I'm glad Orange. that you checked all left <laughs> I have new goggles. Right? Okay. They really need to give you like a shortcut to equip things that you have just collected. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Borg. <laughs> Who could he be? Hidden somewhere. Revenia. Oh, I see it. If anything, the one the one thing that this game is doing quite well is like its set pieces. And I like that. It's giving it like a very nice epic feel. Likelihood that I'm going to fight like a giant spider somewhere? I would say hi. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Chiptel's also dead. Whew, it's a good thing Jackdaw didn't turn on me. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him. You can't just suspect that some other person came into a cave and found everything. They are not me. They are not uh, obsessive about finding every nook and cranny. Or they, I should say that they're not your average video game player. a headless skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. Those are going to kill me.
untouched chest. Chapter wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Scroll has too few voice lines. Well, I'm getting better. I just have to remain vigilant and uh, pay attention to uh, the signs. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but... Where could he be? That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot. But there's no sign of him. to have, but it'll be gone in a moment. Untouched chest. Chapter wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Oh, I've been picking up horklum juice. That's actually good. There 
it is. The bridge. It's almost complete. This looks uh killboxy. More spiders. These can't be what the head is looking for. I don't want to die. Oh my god, I actually managed to accidentally do that second uh, se second challenge, which is to lift one of them while they were bur burrowing. I very, near I very nearly lost it there. It was a kill box. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him. That was a very forgiving time, wasn't it? I think I've acquired some new stuff. Hey there. It is worse. Take my board goggles. I really do wish that you could wear like both the mask and the glasses. Oh, 
What's this? I need to be level 16 to wear it, uh, have it, but it's also worse. Ugh. Flying my own spoon. Okay, well. Must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. Oh, oh, looks like we're gonna have to fight the uh, the guardian things again. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Shame, those splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wand. At least I can take the pages. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm, is there something beyond this room? Fight Okay, how's your evening going? This uh, pensive protector, right? something <laughs> oh well that's fine <laughs> it's not killing me so yeah i've been raining raining like crazy where you are wow i wish it would rain here to know you're at least safe. Magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What 
What is this place? <laughs> uh, it looks like another fight. Looks good. Uh, what are you streaming this time? Do you have trouble streaming if it's like bad weather out? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize mm, you sucks. from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic. To look incredibly weird yes, and funky? I do. Yeah, bro. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic. The few others One can. of the few things that I will splurge on will is arise making sure that, that I have a good sharpen this because rare because talent. I, just, not I get so scared of it just I not working professor. properly. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But not everybody but can afford it, first, so I understand. A map found in a certain book led you here. Place mm. the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Sounds like mm. you have like a satellite that type is connection. Unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Uh, your connection to ancient magic has unlocked talents. You receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. Do you have new talents uh, to spend in the talents? Okay, so I've unlocked a new thing. No, nah, just crappy internet. All right. <laughs> uh, you've earned talents at starting at level five. You may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells and increase combat powers. Stealth and more. Talent points may only be spent once, and so the number of talents you acquire will be limited. Uh, return here often. Well, I feel like I should have had access to this a lot sooner. Uh, Edoras Potion makes you invulnerable. Uh, for Chinese, chopping cabbage thrown. A second chopping cabbage is generated. No. What's my core? What's my core shit? <clears throat> A new spell set is added. <gasps> That's what I've been craving. Another new spell set, yes. And Wake of Note heals you more. Ancient magic throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. Hmm. <laughs> An achievement, bruh. My dude. <laughs> Good job. Well done, dude. You're really showing some good progress, my, my man. Uh, holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. Aww. Successful protogo, protogo blocks will contribute to the ancient magic meter. Perfect protogo blocks will contribute even more. Basic cast impact uh, impacts reduced 
uh, reduce spell uh, cooldowns. Yes. Okay, let's go Dark Heart. Uh, Stupefy has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Cursed enemies take increased damage. Yes. Plus you have PS1. Uh, I can use uh, for nights like this, my dude. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Uh, dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. <clears throat> hmm. Expelling Armus has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Yeah. That sounds good. Ways to hurt people. Uh, casting Incendio unleashes Ring of Flame around you. Uh, enemies near a target summoned by Akio are also pulled to you. I mean, these are... All good. Alright, one more point. Spend it on core. I'll use this. Yeah, why didn't I have access to these sooner? They're stupefy. <laughs> the greatest the greatest name for a spell ever. <laughs> okay, now I want my uh new spells, please. Alright, so on front page. I want all of my, like, normal attack things. So that's good. So on this page, I can put... Resource spells! Oh, that feels so good. Yeah, no, that's great. That I mean, yeah, I have to cycle through them with like, a freaking D-pad, but that's so much better. I was so annoyed that every time that I wanted to use a different type of spell, I had to uh, go into that menu again and again. I mean, what what spell is better than uh, Avada Kedavra? Kedavra. <laughs> Avada Kedavra. The images and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Because it's probably a trick, and you're doing something that's going to help the end bad. Now. I'm gone. Uh, apparently disappearing in front of it is not a good thing. What does that spell even do anyways? <laughs> I probably know what like two uh, Harry Potter spells do. Uh, Stupefy is just like a stun. Avada Kedavra is uh, death. It is the murder spell. Akio is uh, the, the bring it to me spell. Uh, Leviosa is the make it fly spell. Um, I'm back at Hogwarts. Expelliarmus is a disarm. Back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. I suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Just stuff like that. There's like the Crucius curse, which uh, it's like it, it's like it racks your the opponent's body with pain.
You need to learn De Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Don't forget, oh, Reparo. That's right, Reparo. <laughs> it's like, are, you, are they speaking Spanish? Is that what's going on here? this Reparo. It's Leviosa. Not Levi. It's not Leviosa. Pavelio. I think it's actually just, um, Repero, but maybe they actually did just say Oculus Repero. Alright, where the fuck am I? Also, what time is it? 9.30? I've been going for almost two hours. Oh, flying class, that's interesting. It's over 9,000! I didn't mean to push that. I meant to push. Now I want this like funky dash thing. Can't wait for modern Hogwarts full of TikTok wizards and witches that do pranks and twerk and chug beer. Uh, that's not a good. Uh, that's not a good future, my friend. That brings that brings sadness to my heart. Wait, uh, unidentified back item. Superb. Take this to the room of requirement to reveal its qualities. Hello? How do I find the room of requirement? <laughs> Don't say it proudly. Reveal. 
Complete the room requirement quest. Find the piece of unidentified gear. Take... Okay. Using foo powder. <laughs> Modern Hogwarts is not cool, my dude. <laughs> Only Hogwarts that's uh, stuck in the past is cool. Okay. I'm probably going to finish up here soon. Um, Professor Clunger, Focus Potion. Let's do this flying thing and then I'll stop. We'll see what the, the gift of flight is all about. There you are. The cross one's duel is to beat. Also, there was a uh, flu network thing out of here. Let's unlock that. Assuming it'll just let me wait. <laughs> it just slept in the grass, waiting for class. <laughs> Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over, over the summer over. holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! Up! It's got quite a knob in on it. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. I think I'm getting the, the brooms of this. are school property. This is brilliant. I want them returned in one piece. Uh, give me a little bit more maneuverability, and I might and I might well enjoy done. this. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? <laughs> they this do next never set listen. of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! Hello! Nice day for a flight! Controls are good enough. Now that I can move faster, it seems a little bit more fun. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. As a first year. I think I'll pass if it makes me sound like you. A little bit more speed than you though. Oh, 
Whoa. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <sighs> I was just swimming in that thing. That wasn't too bad. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I you look like you're in the same kind of room as I am, man. More challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clockton. So, care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? Sure. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. You sound like a little troll. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Let's hope the Headmaster isn't what? having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. <sighs> How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for <laughs> Man, a burst of like speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying dips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. This is probably like the, the last bit of maneuverable, uh, maneuverability type thing That's that we Kagawa's need. That's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Okay, you have a boost meter. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. So I'm assuming that I have broom all time now. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra Let's practice in. Have the points will be taken from each of you magic, for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always Are those real to test words? new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. <laughs> okay, I want my own broom. Let's see if I can buy one, like, right now. Yeah, spin twitches. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> Spin witch. Bruh. Bruh. What are you up to now? How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Oh, that loaded in weird. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. What is your voice? Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest told horrible stories about it and I've had an irrationally intense <clears throat> fear of it ever since it's silly but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest you couldn't possibly find out could you you want me to follow the butterflies I do yes if you wouldn't mind very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind! Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. Okay. I hope to see you soon. Um, I just want a broom. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. <laughs> Good luck! I'm 70 and 8 at the same time. Yes. Okay, I was clearly in the wrong place. An honest day's work for an honest stick. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Yes, here we are. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Welcome to Spin Witches. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows. Wind Wisps, too. Silver Arrows. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. I'll take a look, thank you. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around, thank you. Please tell me that I have enough money. What are we looking for today? I'm looking for a broom, mate. A comfortable yet speedy broom with a unique woven design. The perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. Finally crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. A stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. Um, <laughs> my man looks like a 60s university student. <laughs> uh, my dude. Nice doing business with you. That item is of the highest quality. I kind of like this. Looks kind of weird. Though. Looks old. That item is of the highest quality. It's got a lantern on it. Then again, uh, they... that item is of the highest quality. Some of the other ones do do, do as well. All right. Well, I know which one I like. That item is of the highest quality. It's either the Wind Wisp or this one. It has, it has to be this one. Come on. 
You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise You'll be you. thrilled. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Yes. Oh. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that upgrades, will improve the if performance you will. of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal Clever situation girl. for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Yeah, sounds worth a try. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the okay. Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays enough. will sort you out. The parody of British people. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be <sighs> sure to let me know. Sadly, a lot of people here do. Okay, now. I have a broom. Can I... Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Can I use broom? Hmm. Flight speed. I know this place. They won't let me land in the boxes. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Imelda. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. How dare they? Nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Mm. Uh, you sound jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Bitch. Slytherin Quidditch Money. captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. <laughs> but for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't uh, be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Let's go. Actually... Why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. That's like the Valley Girl plus uh, <clears throat> like an Irish or uh, Scottish accent.
Excellent. Made it. I did not miss that ring. Sound British, Scottish, and American all at once. <laughs> it's impressive. Oh, Imelda. I'm sorry. I guess I won. Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh, uh, fine. You won. <laughs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. <laughs> all right. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. I totally but wanted to diss her. <laughs> the next course near <laughs> Irondale offers a much I thought it would be tougher a bit much. challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. It's well, really only because I'm a, a magically Adelaide's. capable uh, android, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Imelda. I can have a nice pee for me. I never thought someone would. All right, there's another thing that I want to do. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. Oh, this is as high as you can go. Oh, can't land. Okay, well, at least getting on and off the broom is easy. This is what I was hoping for, though. Like, this is good. I know that I'm playing like a little bit more than what even I said I was going to do, but I want to know what these upgrades are. Now I really feel like I'm in the wizarding world. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh. <laughs> Cannot enter while mounted. That's a weird way to say that. Here we go. Are 
you're back with something to report, I hope. Uh, Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Mm, drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm I don't excited care. to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed. Okay, do I have the upgrade? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Okay. Yeah, how do I obtain upgrade? looking for today upgrades thanks for stopping by hope to see you again beetle the bird is a bit too hairy hearted for my time. i'm slightly annoyed Alrighty, well, <clears throat> I think that's it. Yeah, this room is going to make traveling places a lot easier. Come on, like, clearly this is a place where I can land. What a bitch.
Ah, that's one of those. Probably breaks a story if I do it, doesn't it? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Okay, well, I am happy to have Broom. I'm sure Broom is happy to have me. Much appreciated. I will be back another time with more or something else. Till then, bye bye.